guys, it's Nadine from JolieNadine.com. Um, this video has no official point other than I was lying in bed last night thinking about my mom and I figured that I would do a video about her because I, uh, I haven't done a video yet. Um, and I like talking about her and I don't have the chance to talk about her that much. Um, so yeah, I figured I would just do it in the, uh, in the privacy of my bedroom. Um, as you might know, my mom passed away in December. She had lymphoma, um, and she was diagnosed in February, I think, of 2008, and then she died in December, so it was really fast. Um, and there wasn't a lot of warning, although looking back, there were warning signs. You know, she would complain that her back was hurting, and, um, you know, there were just problems for a couple of years, but I think that... Um, no one really wanted to hear it and no one really wanted to believe that, you know, she was having any problems or could have any health problems and so we kind of like swept it under the rug and then she didn't go check out, get checked out until it was too late. Um, so, yeah, you know, not, not super fun. Um, and I feel okay about it most of the time. I think like 95% of the time, you know, I'm, I'm okay and I'm happy and... Um, I've definitely managed to be proactive about it and to, um, you know, use her memory to spur me on and to try to, to write and finish my next book and do great things, you know. But then some of the time I'm not okay and it'll, it'll come out in random ways, like um, obviously I'm single, you know, so I go out on dates. And I'll be on dates with guys and then we'll start talking and then obviously, you know, somehow the parents come up and then they'll say something about my mom and I'll refer to her in the past tense and then they ask a question. And uh, before you know it, I've spent like half an hour talking their ear off about how my mother died and, you know, going into all these details, which is not necessarily conducive to a first date. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I don't know. And then a lot of my friends don't really ask about her, which I, is a bummer, to be perfectly honest, um, and I find that a little annoying sometimes, often, when I think about it, and, um, you know, I think if there's anything that I've taken away from it, it is that life is short, and that life is precious, and, you know, there's not really much, much stock in, like, the should-haves or would-haves or could-haves, all you can do is take what you have in this moment, and then, you know, make choices for the future, but, um, if you have someone that is close to you that is either sick or, um, or if you have someone that's close to you that's lost someone recently, I would just say, you know, take the time to make sure they're okay. I know it's a really uncomfortable thing to call up someone and say, you know, how are you doing and actually want to hear the answer. But um, I think that, you know, like we're, we're social people. And so it really helps to have a support system and to have people um, say to you, like, I'm here to talk. And I really mean that. I'm here for the next 45 minutes if you want to just chew my ear off about whatever. Because when you've lost someone, you feel like you don't want to burden people with it. But, um, you know, you need to get it out. And, uh, you know, and for me, people ask me about my mom. And I love talking about her. You know, I love talking about her. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll talk about her until you make me stop or until I notice your, like, awkward social cues where you're obviously, you know, thinking that you don't want me to be going on any longer. But, um, you know, it's nice. It would be nice to have um, more people say to me, you know, how are you doing? And, and, you know, like, you know, just it's nice to feel like people are checking in on you and they actually, you know, think about your well-being. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I mean, but, you know, I also understand that people, we all have our own things going on. And, you know, it's really easy to forget that your friends have have sadness or have problems or have issues um and it's definitely made me more aware of times when I haven't been there for my friends and I think oh my god my friend lost her boyfriend and I didn't even call her for you know three weeks and and ask how she was doing and think to check in or you know something like that or family members of mine that have lost um siblings you know cousins and things like that um so yeah you know a little a little kindness goes a long way just a little check in it can be really appreciated um, and, uh, I thought I would show a photo of my mom. Um, this is a picture of her. I don't know if you can see it. It was taken in 1979, I think, 78 or 79, which I was born in 1980. So this photo, um, she was actually younger than I am now. 
and uh, it was taken about a year or two before I was born. And I really like this picture because I think I kind of look like her. And uh, it took me, I lost this photo for a couple of years. It was kind of in storage with a friend. Um, and so I'm really happy to have it back. And uh, yeah, that's it. So that's my random video. You know, there was a really great uh, article on Slate.com that was published a few months ago back about dealing with grief. And I think that, you know, dealing with the death of a parent is really hard. Thank God I've never dealt with any other um, really overly traumatic deaths. Um, I have plenty of friends that have lost people, and, you know, I, I can't even begin to know what their grief would feel like. Um, I've never lost a child. I've never lost a husband. Um, but it was pretty hard losing her. So, you know, that's part of me, and that's part of who I am, and I figured I would just do a little random video about it, pouring my soul out to my field cam. Um, and, uh, you know, for more uh, upbeat videos about eyeliner and mascara, um, you can check out, you know, the rest of my YouTube channel or check out my blog at uh, jolienadine.com. And thanks for listening. Bye.